The New York Times carried a captivating report about the fight for the win at the 2023 New York City Marathon. Sports reporter Scott Cacciola wrote, Helen O'Beary tends to run with ferocious power. She does not run a course so much as she attacks it. Matthias and Bet on the other hand, seems to cover the ground beneath her with effortless grace. In this video, we will analyze the running form of O'Beary and Gide to see if the running form is truly so different. If you do not yet know who won, we'll also share that at the end of the video. Gide is currently holding the world record over 10,000 meters as well as over the half marathon distance. How ironic, given that at age 13 she was expelled from school for refusing to run during phys ed class. Thankfully, she changed her mind, resumed school, and went on to conquer the running world. Helen O'Beary is nine years older than Letizia Bidgide. She stopped running in 2007 to focus on her studies and only started running again in 2009 when joining the military. She then went on to a stellar career in running. She won the first of her two Olympic silver medals over 5,000 meters, just a year after giving birth. She then won another silver medal in Tokyo. In 2023, she won the Boston Marathon, which was only her second marathon ever, against a highly competitive field. Obiri and Gide have faced off many times before, here at the 2022 10,000 meter world championships. We start our running form analysis of these two elite runners with a look at the cadence. As you can see from the video, they run with near identical cadence. Obiri demonstrates a cadence of 180 steps per minute in this segment, Gide runs with a step rate of 184 steps. The 180s are a common cadence range among elite marathon runners. Here you can see how it compares to cadence from other recent marathon performances all measured towards the end of the race. Both Obiri and Gide land on the midfoot, a testament to the muscular endurance. It's quite common even for habitual mid or forefoot runners to switch towards the rear foot strike later in the race. Both runners extend the legs about 70 degrees forward. Gide lands slightly closer to her center of mass. This may be partially explained by her slightly higher cadence in this segment. As a result, Gide generates 15 degrees of sweep compared to 11 degrees for Obiri. Both athletes have a very similar forward lean at mid stance, and even though Obiri pumps her arms a lot, her upper body does not move forward and backward significantly, neither does Gide's. It's no surprise that they both run with great upper body posture, stacking the head, neck, thorax and hips in a straight line. When we look at arm angles, we can see that both athletes run with their arms flexed strongly, however Obiri opens up her arms more during the backward swing. Despite the different arm movement styles, both athletes control the forward and backward movement well, letting them swing naturally with near identical forward backward movement without excessive overshoot. Now when looking at Obiru and Gide from the front, we can see why to the casual observer the running form looks so different. Obiru moves her head more and brings her arms up higher and carries them wider, which correlates with more upper body movement compared to her opponent. This may cost her more energy over the course of a marathon, but also helps her to accelerate as seen in this footage, taken in an upper section towards the end of the race. Most importantly, Obiri pronounced arm movement is not a symptom of an underlying issue such as overstriding or low cadence, as is sometimes the case. For this analysis, keep in mind that this lower frame of footage has limitations and only shows running form at a very specific point during the race. But could you have guessed who won this race? Was it the textbook running form of Gide or Obiri's aggressive style? Well, here's the outcome. In another tight race between the two of them, Obiri pulled away from Gide during the finishing stretch in this race. Let us know in the comments below what other differences you pick up in the running form and what you make of them. Now should you want a running form analysis like this and maybe compare your own running form with these running legends, then you can get your personal running form analysis at mawaya.com and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more content like this. Thank you for watching.